Let's start Act 1, opening image. Will the graveyard wa night watchman approaches each grave to inspect their death bells are still working. As he pulls the rope on each one, he rings, he repeats, still dead, still <laughs> dead. <laughs> one bell's rope is detached. Uh-oh, well, I'm sure he was dead. <laughs> he reattaches it. Will finishes his test and stands over looking at all of the graves. Ah, tonight is going to be a good night. A bell starts ringing madly. <laughs> Will's like, oh, grabs a shovel. Will digs up the grave. <clears throat> As Charles is coming out, he's just cursing. <laughs> Motherfuckers! <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Charles Darwin digs himself out. Or, I would say he doesn't dig himself out. Will gives him way too much help. And Darwin is just basically <laughs> like a floppy fish. I'm gonna die! I'm dying in here! <laughs> yeah, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! It's like the dirt You're clearly off above you. the dirt by yeah. now, Charles! You're clearly <laughs> fine! Uh, he grabs the bell. Is that Charles Darwin? <laughs> Charles Darwin, how are you doing? He grabs the bell, completely ignoring Will saving his life, rips it off the rope, and starts marching down the street. I'm just thinking like a side shot, you know, and it's like foggy mist. Yeah. And there's an illuminating building. You can hear some chatter as they get closer. Mm -hmm. And Will starts chasing him. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Darwin, can I have the, <laughs> the bell? And he's just marching madly. Um, <clears throat> we cut to inside of the, um, of the town hall and people are like talking, crane down, the door bursts open. Mm -hmm. And he's like, who the fuck did this? <laughs> Burying me alive? Uh, he barges inside. The people are mumbling drunk about a witch burning. Um, <laughs> oh, we still burn witches? That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Idris approaches Charles. Everyone <clears throat> everyone stops. Um, the murmuring comes to a, 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 a low hum um, as Charles makes this crazy entrance. Um, and Idris is like, Charles, I'm so glad you made it. He's trying to make up for the, for the inconvenience that everyone else is... Um, is having with Charles barging in. Charles shows him the bell. Do you think burying me alive is fucking prank? The town hall quiets down. I forgot I wrote it here. Uh, we notice a man drinking heavily and his eyes are turning over. Will tries to grab the bell. <laughs> Darwin's always just moving out of his way. Idris's lackey stands next to him chuckling. <laughs> Jolo Triglio. Um, <laughs> oh, like yeah. oh, that's good. <laughs> I was thinking the uh, weirdest guy. Um, <laughs> like Billy on the street. Too. Oh, okay. yeah. Billy Eichner. Uh, Billy Eichner. Uh, so Idris's lackey stands next to him chuckling Charles puffs his chest I'm the theory of evolution guy the town hall goes into an uproar with laughter ah, the theory of evolution burn him like a witch <laughs> um, Idris admits it you are and I so they're kind of like he's pulling him aside as, the, as everyone else is going back to partying you are and I envy you for that I was just having a little bit of fun with you you know the way you used to tease me Idris hands him a drink Idris's lackey hand one, hands one to Will and he takes it Charles pushes his drink away. Idris asks Charles to sit and talk with him. Idris shows him Charles' book. Idris smiles. The origin of species. Charles pauses. You have that with you? Charles fucking loves it. <laughs> Idris swoons over him. It is perfect, Charles. You don't have anything else to prove yourself. I admire you. I want to be like you. Charles gets up. And I wish you luck. However, I am leaving on a new adventure. Charles walks out. Will puts his drink down and follows. Now we're hitting the catalyst. Outside the town hall, Idris, we're doing the side pan again, catches up to, to Charles. An adventure! Charles doesn't stop walking. Yes, a new amazing discovery by the greatest naturalist, biologist, and discovery person ever, turns around at him, by Charles Darwin. It is a working title, but I think it's fitting. Idris stops him. Charles grabs him. I can come and help you. I would actually be honored, Charles sighs. I will be traveling alone. Charles begins to walk again, but Idris bumps in front of him. Charles, I have a fleet of boats and resources we can use. Charles smiles. Yes, that we that don't belong to you, remember? It is the royalty that owns you. They made me the offer first. Their fleet couldn't buy me in discoveries. Mm -hmm. You were second on the list. Don't forget that. I don't own the queen, but it seems like you're in muddy waters with her. Idris is confused. You don't even have a boat, Charles. Will chimes in. Um, that's a shame. My grandfather let me... <laughs> Left me a beautiful boat he built. It's just lovely, Charles smiles. We're taking his dumb grandfather's boat. <laughs> Will's <laughs> eyes wide. Uh, um, Charles marches away with Will leaving Idris behind. Charles, meet me in the morning at the docks. Have the boat ready. I'll bring your silly bell. 
<laughs> Idris's lackey approaches Idris on the street as he is still watching Charles. Idris is concerned. What are you up to, Charles? <laughs> Debate. <clears throat> we don't have to say that in dialogue. You can <laughs> I mean, see like, it. I kind of. It depends on the tone, but I, I think know. Kind of. We're kind of. <clears throat> it's good, you know. Yeah. What are you for? How Charles? hokey like, it is. Yeah, yeah, That's what yeah, I was kind of yeah. going for. Zoolander is exactly, like, yeah. exactly. Um. And Idris delivering it is yeah, just yeah, so yeah. good with Billy Eichel. Yeah. And I, what does that do? What do you want to do? He should repeat everything he says. Um, he's a parrot now. Yes, like he's it. a parrot. He's a parrot cat. Um, okay, so we're at the debate section. Um, not much debating, kind of. Uh, Charles is packing up his bag, so it's the next day. <clears throat> I'm thinking just a time lapse of the town or something. Mm -hmm. Charles is packing up his bag and holds a journal. He opens it up and there are drawings in it. Stick figures of two people holding hands. Drawings of turtles, birds, and all sorts of animals. Next to it is small conch shell. Is that how you say it? Conch? I say conch, yeah. Conch? It's conch? Yeah. Conch's, conch shell, <laughs> that sounds weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He drills a hole at the end of it, draws rope through it, and wears it around his neck. Darwin closes it and puts it in his bag, closes the journal and puts it in his bag. He grabs a fresh journal and a fountain pen. I started doing research on history. Mm -hmm. Oh, pens. shit. Not oh, a Sharpie. Shit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you're surprised by that. Yeah, <laughs> I actually thought it was a Sharpie. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, it's a, a fountain pen by that. Sharpie no, pen. no, no, you got your time Your time period yeah. mixed oh, up, okay, old friend. Yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm ten, 10 years too early. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they burned witches in 1860. Yeah, yeah, they burned witches. Well, we just had the Civil War and World War II. Yeah. Um, Charles arrives at the docks with his bag. A woman stands by the docks waiting. So far, so good with the plants, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I know there's a lot of dialogue in this, but it was kind of on a roll, so I kind of just spit it out here. Uh, as an audience, I think I'm following <laughs> it. It's not too much. I get it, you know? Okay. Just, yeah. Charles arrives at the dock with his bag. A woman stands by the dock waiting. Charles approaches her. Sorry, I never wrote back. She turns around, and they all sound the same with my voice. Sorry. No, no, like a, <laughs> You know? It's like... <laughs> Your 1800s kind of person. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, I think the problem is in this dialogue they all sound the same. We'll get to making I the understand. characters understand. a little bit yeah, more yeah, yeah. Like specific. Dynamic. Yeah, yep. they all sound like the same 1800s well, Dave I mean, made a character yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, once yeah. in his life. Voice. Yeah. She turns around. You know, people usually are excited to write back to a queen. Um, that one was pretty good. That voice. It was, she it was, queen, it was queenly. <laughs> <laughs> she sees his bag. I got here this morning and told Idris. And Idris told me you were leaving. Charles adjusts his bag. You cannot buy me out of this one. She's confused. I never wanted to buy you. I wanted to help. Charles responds. You have Idris for that. Charles begins to walk. He can't he can't get out of his own He can't get out of his own way. <laughs> nice, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I caught myself there. Charles yeah. stops. So you're here to punish him. The queen laughs. I am here to see what it, he is doing with my money. As far as I know, he made one great discovery, and it's been a year of partying since, Charles sighs. I'm going to the Galapagos. The queen is concerned. I hope you did not tell that to Idris. Charles responds, I did not. The queen smiles. You be careful, and I always... I am always around to help you, Charles. Charles nods. Goodbye. It was nice seeing you. The queen waves. I wish you luck, my friend. I don't know if that's kind of lame, too, but... No, no, no. <clears throat> we can work on the dialogue. Maybe a little bit more plants, maybe a little bit more... I think you could tell that they're friends because he approaches her. He already seems like he doesn't like to approach yeah. people in a friendly manner, yeah. so he has respect for her. I, I like the dynamic. Um, are we making comments or you just want to keep going? A little bit of both. Make, make, make some comments. Do we need... Do we need any sort of like ticking time bomb sort of plants, like bigger picture of the movie kind of plants yet? And, you know, like, I think this is really good, like, the queen wants to help him. Should the audience, should there be an inkling that we're leading towards something because she is going to come back, you know? I think we, so. I know, think we, the dialogue needs a little bit of help, specifically okay. in, in relationship between them and more of, like, we're going to see her again. I think this is yeah. a little too short when I just read it. So I think it does okay, need some help. Okay. So, yeah, I would <laughs> say, like, really only maybe setting up some sort of, even though I like the relationship dynamic, set up some sort of conflict that you know i almost feel like not to turn the tables but what if charles owes her the money you know like what if what if it's like, like the that. opposite dynamic and she's kind of like uh you know i'm holding off the royal bank because i believe in you uh We're i like coming that. to collect though you know i, so I like that she's on his side for it and it's not 
and she has been yeah she's been playing on his side and she's like listen i'm gonna keep doing that because i got your back but i can't have your back for that long it's not my yeah. decision ultimately we need another discovery that's what they pay for right i mean we need another discovery and i'm trying to think how that makes her not she doesn't make her a bad guy but how it changes the plan at the end where she's like this is because ultimately at the end i wanted her to be like yeah people can't know this <laughs> right like you guys were in you know the upside down world of this is so upside down where you're like this discovery is insanity mm -hmm. and when she comes she's like yeah it is insanity we're forgetting about this because yeah. people find out about this right they're gonna yeah. go bonkers they're gonna like, go bonkers finding out about aliens or whatever so, yeah. yeah i mean i feel like her putting it <laughs> off pushing it off on someone else like it's the bank it's it's who it's uh Parliament, you know, but is that a problem that comes circle back in the end? We don't, we don't tidy that part up. You should, you shouldn't go to the Galapagos, Charles. We're done with the Galapagos. There's nothing there. You're not going to discover anything, that, and yeah. you still owe money. This is a waste of your time. But how are we like finishing yeah. the owing money thing? You know, let's look at dodgeball yeah. when it's like Understood. all this stuff yeah, happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, that's yeah. great. And he, he literally the pirate finds gets gold. <laughs> yeah. He gets gold. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and and what if they find actually money, and they're like, this should do. Right, what if it's something that he... What if there is a discovery? Yeah, that's... maybe it is, like, the turtle... Okay, so maybe it's, like, the daughter found a treasure when she was there. Okay. The turtle knows about it. She actually used that, Chest. like, to put her uh, memories there you go. in. So for, then, the, for the treasure. Yeah, so... Well, that's nice. And then it's, like... That's why he, he finds find it. it, and then but when he finds it, the treasure isn't in there, and then the turtle reveals that later as like, oh, there was this junk in here too. Like, I I knew your daughter. There's like some memories in there, and he left them in the chest. But then maybe there's a reveal later that was like, oh yeah, there was this junk in there too that wasn't your daughter's, and he's like, it's like gold or whatever, rubies, whatever the like treasure might be. That's that's good. I mean, uh, to throw out another possibility. He could discover uh, that he could discover how to make a mind control potion. <laughs> like, basically, Idris has been using this yes. thing the whole time. He's not yes. an actual witch. No. But they there is that thing in, like, South America that Vice did the story on. Yeah. Remember? That's yep. like... I know exactly you what you're talking about. <laughs> it could just be near you, and you're, you're done. Devil's breath. Dev Devil's breath. So, like, that the, his discovery <laughs> that frees him of his debt could be the thing that imprisons Idris. Um, yeah, that's actually a good point because I don't know how Idris really gets... Well, no, he do, he gets caught by he has the poison, yes. But still, that doesn't tidy up the fact that he owes this bank or whatever it is. But I think what would happen is yeah. he is the kind of almost the opposite in the greed aspect. So I think we need a plant that he's like... I'm going to be rich and famous. He already says I'm the greatest discoverer, but he has to tell more people he's going to be rich and famous because his daughter didn't want to be rich and famous. She just wanted to, like, hang out with nature. Yeah. And he wanted to be rich and famous. And even though at his core he wants to just hang out with nature, that is true. He just got um, too caught up with things, you know? So I think that he finds the treasure and the turtle. It was moved. That's why he dug it up and nothing was in there. The girl moved it because she knew it was greed. And yeah. he does find it, and he basically says, this should cover my... And he's, he's leaving, and he's like, this should also cover my my debt. Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. Like, sharp, like, wait. And she's like, this is way more than your debt. And it's your discovery. We, I'll take what I need to give them, but you take the rest. And he's like, I don't need it. And you're like, oh, he learned his lesson. That's he nice. doesn't need that. Yeah. At yeah, all. That's like nice. she didn't, you know, and she okay. was trying to just have, and he, they did have a good time together. And she knew that if he had that, their yeah. lives would have not been the same in a bad way. So this is him completely yeah. saying, I, I, I'm I, like my daughter. My daughter had it right. <laughs> I just want to go out and discover. And I had such a blast doing it with Will, my new friend. And so <clears throat> to get back to like the core of where we're at in this scene. I know what you want and what you're driving toward with their relationship, but can it be more like it's, it feels like this is a conversation. If he really is like in this debt and all this stuff, this is a conversation that probably would have happened two years ago. And where she's at now is like, I've done what I can for you, but we are coming to collect now at this point. I can't help you anymore. 
And I wish you didn't just tell me you were going to the Galapagos. I wish you oh, didn't tell me that. Okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, she's like, I, basically, I, I think that the whole movie would be better if Charles flees to the Galapagos. You know, like it's basically he's not he's he's almost chased out of town. OK, that's perfect. I like that better because it definitely makes the debate part of it more of an impact. They knock, come knocking, dude, like if he's got to run away. You know, it's Why like, doesn't he go to Will first before he talks to her and he says, pack it up. We're not going. Right. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And Will's just like, oh, OK, like. What happened? I was kind of excited. It's to probably better for the boat anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I really shouldn't be bringing this boat that far. It's yeah. a very far trip from my grandfather's boat. Um, and he, the queen sees him, and he has that conversation. And Will's packing up the boat. He's like, fuck it, we got to go. <laughs> we got to go now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I, I still think that this, that, that relationship dynamic is really good. And that's what we're going to, that's going to be the, what the audience gets at the end that you know the the royalty the people that that kind of, you know matter and have the money are actually proud of him and like you know all that all that stuff that's kind of shining through in this let's just flip it i think okay that's perfect okay so will is on the boat dirty and drenched in sweat Welcome to my late grandfather's boat. Charles throws his large heavy bag over his shoulder and breaks a board of the boat <laughs> as he tosses over why do you look like shit? <laughs> Why do you look like shit? Will looks at himself. I literally work the graveyard shift. I left from work <laughs> right to here to get the boat ready. Lackey pops his head. Uh, sorry. Lackey pops his head over some shrubs to spy on Charles. <laughs> Will is excited. <clears throat> Will is excited. So what amazing discovery are we going to um, discover? Charles takes a journal out of his bag. <clears throat> I'm going to the Galapagos. It's always I am, not we. Mm -hmm. Will's eyes widen. The Galapagos? That is a far trip. <laughs> <laughs> this will be amazing. See all the wildlife on the way. Sunsets and sunrises over the glassy sea. Charles <laughs> interrupts him laughing. You are a fool. No reason to look at those things. They've already been discovered, you idiot. We are not sightseeing. We are innovators. And you know, more important, more important than normal people. Will is confused. Then why the Galapagos? Didn't you already explore that land long ago? The lackey listens in. There's something special there that I left. It has answers we are looking for. Now just get your great shitty grandfather's boat out to sea. <laughs> Charles opens his journal and begins to write. I am on a new journey, I guess voiceover. A journey I am traveling alone with absolutely no one else. <laughs> or, or, or it's a gag where he's like, <laughs> I can't write without speaking. <laughs> I can't write without speaking. Sorry, the do you words. mind if I write while I sp <laughs> I speak while I write? He's like, well, of course not. <laughs> like, That's the only way I can. It makes the joke at the end funnier when he's like, still. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It actually makes well, the, the, yeah, because yeah, the joke at the end is actually very more. heartfelt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he says it, and Will actually yeah. hears it and smiles, yeah. and you're like, oh shit, he actually they are friends now. <laughs> I am on a new journey, a journey. <laughs> I am traveling alone with absolutely no one else. Montage of boat traveling title. Break it to two. Charles and Will see the Galapagos approaching. Charles is excited. Here we are. My next discovery is just on the horizon. Will looks around and is hesitant. Well, the current is a little strong, so we will have to wait before going ashore. Charles scolds him. Nonsense. I know the Galapagos. We will glide into the shore like freshly picked cotton. <laughs> Will is, I don't know what that, Will is confused. I, I don't know what that means. Cotton is very bad around the water. <laughs> Absorbs <I> everything. <laughs> you actually sink with cotton on. I, I think you're confusing. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. Cutting <laughs> is very bad around the water, but I do understand this boat and the current is. Charles takes control of the boat and heads to shore. Yes, here we go. The current grows strong. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. The boat crashes. B story. A new voice is heard. Hey, hey. Hey, wake the fuck up. <laughs> Will's running towards him. His eyes are kind of like the cameras, his eyelids. Charles, Charles, are you okay? Charles looks over to see a large turtle standing nearby staring at him. Promise of the premise. Charles and William gather themselves. William starts gathering the debris as Charles finds a place to write. Charles tells William about his daughter. They go to a water, watering, watering, watering hole to shave, bathe, and shit. Charles explores the nearby forest. He finds a tree and starts digging in front of it. 
a metal tin is found and he opens it up but it's empty so we're changing this to he is digging up a large large hole and he does find the chest eventually or no not at all it's gone i think it's gone <laughs> so the turtle moved it because of the egg situation like that's where they like initially laid the egg so he moved it and then yeah he like removed the junk too okay or if we're gonna go with and, that and i think the digging thing should be like montaged throughout the movie like he keeps, you know, like, like it the whole keeps oh. on You see it like digging. three times. Like he's he's digging there, and Will's very confused. So definitely, Will has an uh, a there's a good moment at like the fire where Will's talking to Charles, and Charles is out in the woods like digging. He's like, "What are you digging for?" Um, okay, that's yeah. perfect. That could be a good like because I was thinking there needs to be more moments with Will and Charles yeah. to kind of build this like build a relationship, obviously, but build more of like the hatred before that all is lost as well. Yeah. I think that would be really important because Will is completely a pushover and does not take charge of anything, and Charles takes control of everything and hears nobody out to what they have to say. Yeah, yeah. I th and I think maybe we find <laughs> somewhere in there for that end moment, we find why Will does that, and it's, like, really good. You know, he's like, you're Charles Darwin, man. You know, I I know you're a dick, but, <laughs> you know. I grew up on your stuff, yeah, man. <laughs> we're, uh, maybe he's like the whole, we're proud to have you. It's sad to me that you don't see yourself the way we see you. Never meet your and heroes. That's why I've always. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 never meet your heroes. <laughs> never meet your heroes. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. All right, where were we? Okay, he finds a tree and starts digging in front of it and metal tin is found so we he, we change that he keeps digging bigger hole during the movie trying to find this thing close by he sees a turtle egg peeking out of the ground because i think they bury their eggs but you can kind of yeah. see them he runs over to it and digs it out carefully he examines Research. it and he sees a turtle scared inside of an opening under a rock that overlooks the nest do not worry i will not hurt it i will bring it back with some food for you <clears throat> so kind of the save the cat moment where he is like very good to animals and he's wants to do this strictly for research not to steal the egg or yeah. do anything else with it charles and and the turtle that is in there knows that it's the other turtle so charles begins to walk back to the shipwreck site he hears a voice behind him hey you and it's the same voice you heard in the mumbled in the beginning of uh after they were crashed on the island come back here with my egg charles sees the turtle talking and snags him Fuck you, put me down. Charles ties the turtle to the tree. He <laughs> begins to look for more animals. The nemesis arrives and they set up camp. So I guess we should have the nemesis arrive to where that hole was, would be my guess. Yep. So I don't know where we had to figure out the mapping of this. <clears throat> but definitely the hole that he digs would probably be the nemesis's camp now. Yeah. No, because a, we're going to say that like, he's digging up the again. hole during... There's Shoot. like there's this rock formation that's really famous in the Galapagos that I feel like you just make like a central set piece. And that's the Nemesis's layer. Could be. It could <laughs> also be like within sight of the digging. I think you could be pretty far away from it and see it. Okay. Um Yeah. So we could see how that plays out. I think that it should be the Nemesis's layer then. And yes, yeah. where the digging, so he's looking in a telescope yeah, at him yeah, digging. Yeah. What are you yep. digging for, Charles? <laughs> Could be yes. another good like Why gag if he, he always digging? like just says a thing that he's thinking. Sir, you don't have to always <laughs> say what's on your mind. Um, yeah, I actually always what I realize is sometimes I write that and then delete it, and I'm just like, he, like he, yeah, "Why yeah, do I need to write right. that?" I understand. Um, okay, so. He ties the turtle. He begins looking for more animals. Uh, Nemesis arrives, and they set up camp. So I think he's – there you go. Perfect. I think he's on that rock area, and he's looking at binoculars on him, and Charles is grabbing all these animals. <laughs> so he ca sees Charles catching all the animals. He spots a watering Charles. hole where all the animals are gathering to drink. We need to get down to the watering hole to gather these creatures for experiment. He doesn't need to say that. He can just see it. We can visually just see him seeing all the animals at the water, and there's a little plant there. We need to find out what he's up to. It's all visual, I think, at this yep. point. Charles is holding an iguana. Talk, fucking talk. He ties the iguana to a tree. Animals are scattered throughout, tied to trees. The turtle laughs. <laughs> like scurrying around like to ropes, yeah. and they're just like trying to get out. Like, 
Charles grabs the egg and threatens him. Tell him the talk! <clears throat> you don't remember me, do you? The turtle offers a journey across the island to discover the secret it holds. The secrets it holds. Um, I know you were saying we should say you don't remember me or something like that. He doesn't need to say it here. He yeah, can actually yeah. say they could start going on the adventure and say yeah. you don't remember me, do you? So somewhere, maybe not here. I don't think it's as as effective. I think they should start getting to know each other. And the turtle's like, you really just care about yourself. Yeah. You don't even remember me at all. I'm a very specific turtle. On like, this look island. at my yeah. shell. It has this special yeah. marking. <clears throat> you don't rem- how- Yeah, he could say that. Like, you don't remember me. And they could bring up a story like that of, like, you inspected this. Yep. And you said a whole thing about it. Um, that I'm would a, be great. I'm A9771. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at my tag. You, it's still on here, you fucking bastard. I've been trying to get it off for 10 years. <laughs> that would be bad, though, because then he actually yeah, is like no, a, yeah. terrible to animals. Um, the turtle offers a journey across the island to discover the secret it holds. First, he must let the rest of the animals free. Darwin wears the turtle as a backpack. The turtle shows him around. Reminiscing about Darwin's first visit and their interaction. <clears throat> you wear her shell around your neck. Uh, can anyone do a Seth Rogen voice? <laughs> uh, you wear her shell around oh, your neck. neck. You wear her shell around <laughs> your neck. <laughs> really he good. gets Darwin to jump <laughs> off a waterfall, almost killing him. They meet the finches. They go swimming and fishing, introduce jellyfish drugs. They get high together, introduce talking fish. The animals talk here, don't eat me. Um, and he slits the <laughs> fish's throat, talk about the history of the island. They have lost contact with most nature outside the island. Darwin's daughter spoke with them, though. They protected her as she protected all of them. If she was ever in danger, they would they would know. Introduce the council. Okay. So that's a plan. If she was ever in danger, they would know is the conch shell. Yep. Will is working on the boat. Cat shows up and offers the help. So this is was we don't actually have where the nemesis and darwin know that they're here together so if the you know i guess billy or whoever that is shows up and offers to help i don't know if this is the right spot now that i think about it now that i just went all through it because the nemesis and charles still charles doesn't know that the nemesis is here right so right. that could be an issue um but but will does ask what are you doing here we want to help you and any support we can give so um, we, we do know that the Nemesis is going to be here soon anyway. If we don't want to put it there, that's totally fine. Darwin risks himself at the waterfall to save an animal with the eyes. So the same eyes that we kind of saw in the beginning at the town hall. They bring the animal to the Nemesis. He cures it. Says it was Darwin's fault for poisoning the water. So that's why I planted the cat there because he brings it back to their camp, to Will. And Will says that they're there and they can't help the animal. And he's like, we need to bring it to them. I don't know if this yeah. is good. Yeah. Uh, why don't we do... Um... In in the fun and games somewhere, like before the backpack thing, why don't we just do a scene, um, a real quick, like, so Idris is just You want to add it in here, actually? He's been watching them for a while, right? Like, yeah. early on. Mm-hmm. Um, find what he's up to. Talk, talk, talk. Um, maybe it's like after introduce the council or something like that. Um. <laughs> I feel like it should be earlier. Um, somewhere we should have uh, Idris take his boat from the lair and bring it around and pull up where where Charles is wor- working. I mean, it would be great if he had a reason to do that, but he could call to him from the water, and be like, "Charles, what the fuck are you doing here?" You know, um, and just like we saw, you, we saw a distressed boat. Do you need help? And Will's like, "Yeah," and Charles is like, "No, we don't need your so help." So we talked about that too originally, and we were saying. Is it kind of weird that he was following him for that long? And they're like, distressed boat, like Charles would immediately. And I think we were saying, why doesn't he just admit? I think it's in here. I followed you. Yeah. I followed you because I knew you would fuck something up. And I knew you needed help. And I'm here to help you, not hurt you. Yeah. Okay. And and, and I don't want, and Darwin's like, I don't want your help. And then he has to help the squirrel. I feel like that could be. Is there any reason why there, did we that, said a squirrel? Is there a squirrel yeah, yeah. on the Galapagos? Uh, probably, there's probably, a lot of yeah, shit. Yeah, nah, there's but, a lot of shit there yeah, on the Galapagos. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of squirrels. <laughs> um, why could cheetahs too? Why couldn't <laughs> yeah, we, we should definitely put a cheetah? There's there. an elephant, rhinos. The Pikachu, audience, Pikachu. I think, isn't getting anything from Darwin not knowing that the villain is there. 
You know what I mean? He's like Idris is watching him through a telescope and all this stuff. It doesn't actually. It's it's not one of those situations where the audience knows something that the main character doesn't know, and it's kind of like, oh, you know, it's just he doesn't know he's there, and he's not changing his behavior. There's nothing, and they don't discover anything by watching him. So why why doesn't the first time he arrives there just be that interaction? Well, I think they do. You know? Well, they're like, why is he collecting all the animals? Like they kind of just. They're like, all right. But the he, audience already knows that, so it's right. not like you know we're we're not holding it onto anything. He could still, we could still have the scenes where he's watching him. They're short, you know. He's still doing the same thing, <laughs> but like, why doesn't he just pull pull up in his big ship when he first, you know, like after they set up camp, Darwin meets the turtle, the ship pulls up. I'm thinking I like him seeing the watering hole and that stuff first. So that's the plant, and then he immediately says let's go down there and talk to him and charles is pissed and he's like where's your boat and he's just like we we took that rock area it's very nice okay. um we set up a nice camp up there and he's like you need to get out of here and he's like well, this isn't your land i'm just here i was here and he's like you followed us and he's like of course i followed you if you need my help i'm here like i said so i don't it- want to take anything from you i want to help you and you can help me that's how it works. He's just forcing himself into this constantly. Yeah. And he forces himself into this. He's manipulative because he saw the watering hole. He immediately went, Charles is catching animals. Something's up with the animals. Let me look at the animals. Oh, there's water there. I'm going to poison that. And then I'm going to go to him, say this. I know he's going to say I don't need your help, but he will in a moment because he's going to find a poisoned animal. And he's going to come to me because I have the potion for it. So that's the dialogue. Instead of what are you up to? It's I'm going to bring him to me, you know? Perfect. Like, yeah. Um, and then we just need to make sure that Darwin understands. Um, like I have provisions, I have medicines, I have anything you need, you yeah. know, like it's he just says a little, it very, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, He's, Anything you want, I food, I this, I have medicines. <laughs> yeah, it's like really bad. Like, <laughs> uh, cures for <laughs> anything. anything. Poison? And they're like, this is suspicious, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I think Darwin has to feel like he has no choice. Yes. You know? Yep. So, And that stuff just has to move up somewhere. It has to happen earlier. You know? Because we're already at he saves the animal with the eyes, and they bring them yep. to the nemesis. So, so like somewhere yep. up here. Mm-hmm. Nemesis arrives and set up camp. He has been offered to spy on Charles. He sees Charles catching animals, spots a watering hole. What are you doing, Charles? Charles is holding an iguana. Talk, I'm talk, and talk. He grabs all the animals. Will is working hard on the boat. Probably there. Instead of Will is working hard on the boat, Cat shows up with ne- the nemesis. Shows up with his his lackey. Just put nemesis and lackey show up. <clears throat> So he's already seen. Okay. So it's basically. That doesn't really yeah. make sense, but you know what I'm going for? Yeah. yeah. So the audience knows he's doing a setup thing? Yeah. Or are we still holding on to the audience doesn't know he's a bad guy? <laughs> uh, I mean, I think we kind of already know, know because yeah, yeah, yeah. he bullies uh, him in the beginning. Yeah. Too, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this too. Yeah. With a log line, we even say that he is the villain. Yeah, yeah. And I will say that's like the hiding the ball thing, where why in the log line yeah. use that as a twist? It's not a twist. The story is still the premise of the premise, which is the talking animals, funny banter in there. But the story really is the nature versus yeah. nurture. It's just. Charles's full arc of being a better person. So I think him being the nemesis is pretty known right, right off the bat. Right. Yeah. I mean, Again, literally like buries, he buries him alive. Yeah, yeah. It's like the main thing that's like, yeah. That's not really um, a joke. Uh, yeah, the audience knows, but Charles doesn't. And you're just waiting for Charles to to find out. And we're like, and you know, like any movie, we're here for the journey. We know he's going to find out, but we're like, how are you going to find out? And what are you going to do? Yep. Okay, cool. So they bring the animal to the nemesis. He cures it and says it was Darwin's fault because he's been uh, pooping in yeah, the water or whatever. In the water. And he took a dump. That's in the gonna water. be the only. That's gonna be the only flashback in the movie. He's like, 
have you been using that water for anything else? And he's like, I showered <laughs> like, in it, I shaved in it, I pissed in it, it, shit in it. He like throws up in it. Yeah, a little too <laughs> much to drink. Really bad. What if it's a very long? You know, like uh, in Super Bad, they go off on like the dick tangent thing, or it's like just him shitting <laughs> over and over. It, I don't know if it's that kind it? of movie. Like, ah, and then he Team gets America, up and where he throws up. Very you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. the sex scene in Team America is like way yeah. too long. Yeah, he should anyway, have sex in the water. Moving on with Will. Uh, where are we at here? Darwin He's, risks uh, himself. Yeah, we got that. At the waterfall, the eyes. Turtles pissed at Darwin. You shit in my water. What were you thinking? Darwin and Will finish the boat and begin to pack to leave. What Darwin was looking for is not here. So at this point, he's like, well, fuck it. You know, I did fuck <coughs> up. Maybe the nemesis, maybe Idris is right. I don't fucking belong here. Will finishes the boat. Um, He says, I'll get this ba- order. Uh, uh, I'll get this island back in order, Charles. And this is the bad guys closing in. Charles and Will are about to leave. Turtle wife asks Darwin for help. He saves the egg. So right before they're about to leave, he does save the egg. Can we... Mm-hmm. Let me throw something in here, just to, yep. as an idea. Let me just throw it out there. What if... In here... What if... Idris actually starts to change Charles's mind? He's like... You sh- you've been shitting in the water. You're causing more harm. You're not discovering anything. Yes. And it's sort of like, what if what if he Charles is is like kind of worse. like, like I hate. Or this now. he's he's more defeated and he's just like, uh, Will you you're gonna have to take the boat yourself. I'm gonna I'm going with him. And it, you know Idris okay. offers him a job and and maybe even possibility of Darwin confides in him in him. I don't know how long these moments are, but you know like kind of the bad guy starts to win and he gets right on the edge of telling him about the talking turtle you know it's like he that's all idris wants to know what are you looking for and why are you being so strange with these animals you know he wants to know his secrets what are you doing charles i think yes and no i think you're right he should and then I think he should also decide to leave. I think the only issue is him leaving with Will allows for... Because if Will just leaves and comes back, that's a very protagonist thing to do. But mm-hmm. if he leaves and comes back, I think it's better as the, the lead, Charles. Mm-hmm. But I like that him almost saying, fuck it in the beginning. You're right. <laughs> he's been he's been looking for this thing he can't find. He's running away from a debt he can't unless he never goes yeah, like home. He can't go back unless he gets And and Idris is the fucking man at this point. You know, he's the guy. He's got the money, he's got the fame, he has everything yeah, that Darwin like, wanted. Look, I know you're in debt. I can give you a job. I can pay you enough to pay Okay, that so debt he off. starts it's... looking like a Okay. So so Idris um Charles is like, I'm going to leave. And Idris is like, no, what were you looking for? And and Charles actually tells him. And he's like, we're going to help you find that. But I just want you to know, they actually start putting, like, um, they start feeding the animals. Charles sees that Idris is really taking care of them. And he's like, wow, see, this guy's way fucking better than me. And he's like, Char-, and so there are, maybe there's one scene where he's, Charles actually doesn't want to leave because he's worried about the animals. And he sees how much help and resources he has and he actually is helping the animals idris yep and the turtle is just like yo this guy's the fucking man you suck yeah and the turtle loves him what if the turtle okay oh and then the turtle's like uh gonna give builds the trust. like the treasure the turtle builds the trust because we do have like when does he discover i love the <laughs> rivets thrown out we can't remove that but like Okay, so yeah, he starts siding with him. So there is like a council thing that he gets invited to. And that was the moment where they all get drugged. Charles leaves because the turtle's like, I don't even want you here. The t- the The council should actually be introduced earlier. I, is it? It, it is introduced yep. earlier. So the council actually like wants to say bye to Charles. And the turtle's kind of like, you still fucked us. This guy, we are in good hands. And Charles is like, 
I'm sorry for everything I did. Um, and the councilman is the voice of reason. He's kind of like that. He's like the flat arc. He already knows he's an old head. And he's like, hey, you're a good person. Don't worry about it. Um, you're one of us now, whatever. And they're all drinking that poison water. Charles leaves. And then the turtle, we had the turtle like starting to see everyone like Uzi. And he's like, oh, fuck, I got to tell Charles. And he passes out and they grab him. So that actually might be worse. I actually like the fact that, yeah, Charles leaves. Shit starts to go down. Charles leaves. Of course, shit starts to go down. Just what way? So it's either Charles leaves and the turtle at that party where Charles just was leaves to try to catch Charles and passes out and gets captured. Or Charles leaves. Everything's fine with the party and they're going back to the camp that the nemesis has created and the nemesis doesn't know they talk and he opens up to him or do they already know does the nemesis know or does he just say like i'm gonna tell him and he goes up and tells the nemesis and he's like oh shit i knew this was gonna happen or does something happen with the poison where it's like a truth serum where he is getting oozy and he tells him and he's like, he's like, I just wanted to tell you he's drunk. And he's yeah, like, he's drunk. you're like way better than Charles Darwin, man. <laughs> like, you're so awesome. And he's just like, oh, my God, you can talk. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, was, we were going to tell you anyway. This, this fucking guy talks over here, too. Hey, Char Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, talk. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, oh are, are we doing it? We're telling? Okay. Okay. <laughs> And he's uh, just like, that's amazing. And he's like, yeah, I'm just like so happy you're here. And he's like, yeah, yeah I'm so happy you're here too. Um, so rip this one's throat out. <laughs> <laughs> they, wait, you all talk, right? You know, all, the, all yeah. of you talk, right? And he's like, oh, basically every single one of us. <laughs> so it's not just you. No, you're not that special. And he's like, well, I'm just this talking turtle. <laughs> no, they're talking turtles here. It's like, okay, perfect. Rip this one's throat out. So. <clears throat> Just it maybe we just keep going in order. I love all that, but I feel like we're at a point we're here and bad guys close in. Um, I'll get this order back in th this island back in order. He he's looking like a good guy, and Darwin is starting to believe him that all he does is fuck up. There needs to be a relationship moment here between Idris and Darwin. We need to know the history. Mm -hmm. You know? I think that's right here. I think it's like you tortured me. You you know you think you know who you are. Interesting. You think this. you yeah. You think you deserve fame. You think you deserve wealth. You think you, you are the greatest discoverer of our time, but you're actually just a a bully. Yeah. You you've stolen everything that you ever got from you know you've gleaned it from other ideas. You've raced other people to get it out there, and you made my life a living hell. Yeah. So fuck you. <laughs> yeah, and I was so here to help you, you, and you basically told me to fuck off. And I'm, yeah, yeah. I think he literally just has, like, a talk with him while they're walking. So, me, okay. So, is he basically agreeing? Is Charles saying, like, I'm leaving now because you won? And then he's, he's right. like, can I talk to you? He's like, he he's, maybe we need a little bit more with maybe like the daughter stuff but i think that we're getting to a place where darwin's kind of defeated he's not actually going to get the treasure he came to get he doesn't find the stuff from his daughter uh the turtle you know I, we're not in a place where the turtle hates him but he is he well maybe the turtle's definitely angry at him yeah he's like you know everything was fine until you started shitting in the water yeah and this guy had to save us and this guy's actually helping us. When you came, you just did, sh like, the worst things to us. We do have problems on this island, and he's fixing it for us. Look at all the resources. and He leaves. Rip its throat at out moment yep. happens without him there. He's going to leave, and the wife gets him. Okay. Because she, he needs to rescue the babies. To, the wife gets Darwin. Okay. He rescues the babies, and he's like, where is a A1991 or whatever the fuck his name, <laughs> if we give him a name. He's like, he never came home last night. I thought he was with you. And Darwin's like, 
fuck, you know? Okay. So then it's, you know, a rescue mission from Darwin to the turtle. Okay. Well, I was also, I don't, I'm fine with killing, killing my darlings on this one, but do we want to have him and Will though leaving on the boat and the fish coming out and saying, hey, you gotta go. Back and they're just gonna sing all the animals. <laughs> oh, and then, no, no, no. But that's <clears> a. <throat> can we put that in the fun and games? It's a funny gag that I think works with any conversation. Maybe that's the fish. So they're, they're having the fun and games, and then this, this animal is sick at the waterfall mm-hmm. that Charles risks his life for. Can that be in the fun and games? And the fish is like, hey, guys, you gotta come back here. Somebody is really, really fun. You know, like <laughs> the, the, the same exact gag. Okay. But it's just the thing that gets them to go to the waterfall. And then maybe we bring that joke back like later on. So we have maybe like Darwin's like riding some whales or something. He's like, hey, what am I missing? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> tells me anything. <laughs> Give me a dolphin or something. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So, yeah, I'm fine with that. I was just thinking him still going back. The fish joke gag is fine. But I like also that Will's not a pushover anymore. And we Darwin. Get Will's relationship. Correct. So like Darwin, they were leaving, right? And what if still that happens? I like all of that. Like, he didn't come back. And he's like, well, he's with his new friends now. And he just is like, fuck it. Let's just go. And she's just like, I don't know if that's super insensitive for him to say to her. But she doesn't have to be like, I'm worried. But she could be like, he hasn't come back. And he's like, yeah, because he's fucking partying with his new friends. And they do leave. And then the fish says something. And Will's like, we got to go back. I I like it except it removes the fact that Darwin's changing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think it actually kind of is kind of going back and forth. He is he because of this defeat right, he, is, he is he is back to like, his yeah. normal self. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Fuck he's this. This is really yeah. where this, that and both of those work. worlds are starting to collide now. I see. Yeah. And Darwin's coming back. That's nice. The normal okay. fucking fuck this. Yeah. He's friends with him now. Fuck you. I don't care. Fuck you, Will. I don't care about your grandfather's boat. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah, okay. I can That's figure good. it out. Yep. So then they leave, and the fish comes up and says, you going to come back? you going to take it out and talk it out. And now it's a decision for him. Now he knows that the turtle's in danger, and it's a he has to make the decision. And okay. he says, we got to turn back, and Will's just like, I'm not doing it for you. Mm-hmm. So you're just like, okay, well, Will still hates you. But I also don't know why Will completely hates him right now. He only hates him that he's just like, you did fuck up these animals. There needs to be something else. He needs to hate him from what he just probably says, like, all right, let's take your shitty, all right, let's take this crappy boat. And he's just like, I'm sick of this. Like, right before they leave. Like, dude, I just spent all this time fixing the boat that you messed up and my great-grandfather Maybe it comes down to, like, the ultimate question, like, what does Will want? in this movie. I know he's a side character, but like, so Will's arc, I think is pretty small in the sense of like, he's always been kind of a pushover. He, he's the, yeah. He is a flat arc of like being a good person. I think the problem he's overcoming one thing and that's being a pushover yeah. and taking control of his life. And he's like a plain Jane kind of like guy. Like and he finally says, and he's just I'm like, not doing yeah. shit. <laughs> that was like, I know this this has to be Darwin's decisions. Like, he has to be driving this movie with his decisions. Um, is it too late in the movie to, instead of having them just have a blow-up about, like, what they're saying, Darwin is going back to his old ways, I guess. You know, like, he's saying, Idris, you're right. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Would it be too much for him to uh, take the boat <laughs> like he just where's like, will leaving. like will's not here and, and he's like fuck it he can catch a ride and he takes the boat and then and then the hey bit you got to get back here there's people like, and he comes back with the boat and he jumps off and he gets like hit with a log or something like on the side of the head and he gets in a fight with will and then will's like fuck you man you know like you literally just took my grandfather's yeah. boat <laughs> you took my boat, my grandfather's boat, and and, and he it their their tension comes to a head there, and then it resolves itself later on. He steals his boat. Why though? He's just like fuck you. You just stay with him. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, unless Will has. I mean, some it's a great dickish move where he again he will interacts with Adris and now they're buddies. So then it's just like layers and more like 
you hang out with your new best friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I think that's yeah, unnecessary. No. Yeah, all right. Um, it's all right. We can move forward from that. Um, I feel like we're late now with this, like, journal thing. Oh, so I was going to say that. The journal thing, I think, needs to be – so <clears throat> it begins as a journal, um, and I didn't add this in here, but this is a very important thing where he's drawing – uh, one big thing throughout the movie is that he can't remember what his daughter's face looks like, mm. and he's drawing her. So in the journal, he's actually not writing. He starts drawing. So I think in, even in the beginning, like he's writing, I'm a journey, a journey alone, blah, blah, blah. And he like flips over, and he like starts sketching. And this needs to be brought up multiple times. So when he's digging up that thing over and over again, uh, Will sees him drawing. Like, oh, who is this that you're drawing? And he's like, don't look at my shit. Yeah. So there are those moments that I didn't add in there that are very important that I guess we can we need to add in dialogue. So these are scenes that have to be added. Um, There's just a few moments that we see this. The moment that they're leaving, he can start writing that and start sketching or when they arrive at the island. Definitely somewhere in the middle when he is having kind of a heart to heart more so with Will when he's digging that hole. What are you looking for? He sees maybe his journal flip open. And there's a picture, and he's like, who is this? This is a great drawing. And I think he actually tells Will there um, in the fun and games, somewhere in, in the middle chunk, that that's his daughter. I think he does say that's his daughter, and I, he can't remember what she looks like. So yeah. you're like, damn. And you actually feel for him, and Will actually feels for him. Okay. <clears throat> And at the end, he has um, finished it, and he begins his new journey. He has basically this whole movie is uh, a a lot of just him never um, not getting over. Yeah, um, like coming to grips with his daughter. Mm -hmm. death coming to grips. What are the other words for it? Um, reconciling. Yeah. Reconciling. Yeah. There's a specific word, but it doesn't matter. Those All those words are the thesaurus of this word I'm thinking of. <laughs> so that works. And, yeah, this is this is him kind, kind of coming full circle. Um, and I would say not even just remembering her, embodying her morals, you know, that theme. This whole time he was trying to remember her face. And at the same time, he was remembering everything else she stood for. Yeah, she didn't take the money. Of course she didn't because she wasn't greedy. Yeah, she knew all these animals talked, and she didn't care, and they loved her for that. Not yeah. they didn't they didn't love her for that. She loved They loved her because she was just a great human. Great. Mm -hmm. She was genuine. She was just a genuine person, and they were just friends because of that. And she didn't exploit anything or anyone. And during this whole time, Charles just thinks, obviously, that he just wants to remember her face, but it was truly just remembering everything else about her that he has lost. And that's why he went down such a rabbit hole of becoming such a dickhead because he used to be more caring and all that stuff. I'm wondering, maybe that needs to be planted early in the film, too. So he has a journal that's stick figures. Yeah. That's okay. hers. Oh, okay, yeah, and yeah. He takes, right, right. So okay. you see that it's a kid's drawing, and yep. you're like, what is this? So... Just to get us back on track, I think I think you could share that with Will. He says like he brings it out and he like ha he's finally like happy, Charles for once. And he's like, Oh, you have to check this out. And he's like, Look, she drew us here. This is when we came here. This is me, this is her. She had a wild imagination. Like Yeah. And he's showing her him all the drawings that she drew. And he's like Will's like, This is amazing. Like you were a father and you like loved her and then he says she passed, of course, and that's like a thing for him um so i think that could be a really good up moment in their relationship which we actually don't have yeah so a lot that's of, a like, beating down for sure so that's a great up moment I'm just gonna make some notes at the bottom for of plants and you can we can figure out where they go um like realistically where we're at when it starts to get hazy is uh
Darren risks his life at the waterfall and saves an animal that has the eyes. They bring the animal to the nemesis, and he cures it, and he says it was Darwin's fault. The turtle gets angry at him for shitting in the water. Um, and Idris is proving himself to actually be a pretty good guy. Charles is feeling kind of defeated about his purpose. And Idris opens up to Charles about him being a bully, even though he looked up to him. <clears throat> like, did I miss... Then we just jump to Charles and Will are about to leave. Uh, Maya Rudolph asks Darwin for help. He saves the egg and hatches a baby turtle. Uh, we kind of like... What I don't see in here is what is the moment where the nemesis realizes they talk. the animals talk. We don't have that in here. Um, How does it play out? Well, no, we do have this in yeah, here because we didn't get does. down to it. We don't have the the, the new one that we kind of came up with. Yeah. We have them the, at the council. They start getting the eyes. He leaves. The turtle starts walking away to try to catch Darwin and passes out. But we ch just, just changed it by saying okay. that Darwin leaves and they are drunk and the turtle just goes to the nemesis and starts talking. He's like, oh, my God, you talk. The whole time they haven't been talking. He's like, man, those jellyfish <clears throat> really fucked me up. He's like, oh, my God, you can talk? The, does... You spoke. So, yeah, that's what we changed it. To that yeah, should we change it back from all the stuff we just came at, up with, though? Because it's going to... I'm getting, you know... He's ping-ponging a lot. And I'm just, where are their relationships at right now as we move forward in the, the time of this movie, you know? The turtle is feeling like this Idris guy is pretty good. He's helping us. But at the same time, I feel like the turtle has always been like, we're fine without anyone here. I mean, he's better than you. So he's not shitting in our water. So but I think I think we should add in dialogue that Charles is always trying to sway the turtle to talk like openly to everybody. He's like, "This is a great discovery. You should do it." And he keeps trying to do that. And now, when he meets Idris, all Idris cares about he doesn't ask them if they have anything. He only cares about their health, and he's fixing things on the island. And the turtle's like, "This is what we wanted you to do the whole time, Charles," and you didn't do any of it. <clears throat> so there are issues on the island, and Charles has no resources to fix it, no really ambition or drive to fix it for them. So I think there needs to be like these are problems on the island that we need fixed. Like the and, don't have any homes and, 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 and like Idris starts build Idris shit. builds yeah, a dam yeah, for the water. Yeah, Idris yeah. builds this, and he's just like, oh my god, this guy has done all the shit, and all you did was fuck it up. All you wanted me to do was talk for other people. All you want, you're selfish. <clears throat> yeah. And then we obviously know Charles isn't because he saved, he really cared. Obviously, Idris poisoned the water. And um, we know uh, almost immediately after he leaves, the turtle wife does grab him and he hatches this egg. And he is having a complete meltdown in his emotion, you know, emotionally, really, because he's seeing this baby born, this, this little girl, and he is now leaving this island that he, he's like getting banned from this island that he, found with her and he's just like this is why I did it I'm he's almost having a self realization is of like I fucked up and he just leaves and he's like kind of just like I'm so happy to have met you and she's like you're leaving and, and he's just like I don't belong here and the turtle wife is also flat arc where she's just like I know he's a good person I know it and she obviously allows him to leave. <laughs> I mean, he just leaves with Will, and he's sad on the boat. We have the turtle overhearing <laughs> this right now. You know, like where, where we're at here and what you're saying are, are Yeah, great, so we can but... take that out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're totally changing this. So, yeah. so where we're at then is uh, 
I'll get this island back in order. Basically, he's like, Charles, you're a bully. You're the bad guy in mm-hmm. this story. Um, you're the villain in this uh, broad comedy. <laughs> um, Charles and Will are about to leave. Yeah. That makes sense. The turtle wife comes and asks Darwin for help. He saves the egg, hatches a baby turtle. He opens up about his daughter to the wife, mentions the journal. He's overwhelmed with emotion, sees his daughter and the turtle, decides he needs to leave to stop causing problems for everyone. Yeah. What if... So, yeah, we need to change a lot here because Charles talks to the council here. I don't think he needs to talk to the council anymore. I think that all the talking to the council happens earlier in the fun and games. I don't think that needs to be there anymore. What if Will doesn't want to leave yet? We've been looking for this conflict of Will finally not being a pushover. Yeah, well, I mean, Will can say, like, why are we leaving now? Like, these animals need our help. And he's like, are you kidding me? What are you going to help? What are you going to help? You do nothing. You literally watch dead bodies all night. Dead bodies. What are you, what are you going to save? And he's like, I saved you. I still question the motivation. Like, you should have left me there. <laughs> you should have left me buried. <laughs> uh, what if... <laughs> what if Will overhears Charles and he's like, we're not leaving because we're not done digging. You came here for a reason and we're not, we haven't found that thing, you know, like, it, you know, if, if he opened up to the Darwin, opened up to the turtle about the daughter and the journal and all this stuff, maybe Will's pushback is actually like, no, I'm a good friend. It's not okay. just you're a dick to me. It's, I'm no, I'm not leaving. You don't know how to sail this boat. I'm I'm gonna be so good. You know, I don't know if that's like a weird conflict, but So what happens there? They don't leave. I mean, I still like he just takes the boat even then I don't know. he hits him. If I'm just trying to find that conflict. like and maybe maybe I'm overthinking it. That No, I don't like, think you are. I, I like push over kinda Um well I, I think he may, might overhear that. And he does say we're not leaving, but I still like him jabbing at Will again. I, I like him saying, like, we need to stay and help the animals. And he's like, stay and help the animals. What are you going to do? I like that, that he's just, like, still jabbing at fucking Will. Yeah. <clears throat> You're going to do nothing. Boat, I saved you. <clears throat> you watch dead bodies. That's are what you do. You can't help anybody. This moment, is this happening why is Will saying we need to stay and help? So we, they are. This is after they know that there's a problem. Yeah. After they know what problem? After the fish comes and tells no. them, like no. it's before. But this is the poison. So why is Will saved part? Why is Will saying like we need to stay and help these animals? Because he over. When, uh, I was just thinking yeah, like yeah, yeah. He, like, like we need to stay and and there's more for you to do here. There's more for you to do here. That's, That's what good. I kind of meant yeah. for. But but yeah. that doesn't. And maybe it's like we need to keep digging here. And he's just like. No, and I was just thinking for conflict reasons of him pushing back on Will, him saying, like, so, you so, can't so help let me, anybody. Let me, let me just understand this right now. I I uh, took my grandfather's prize, <laughs> prize boat, and I sailed it 64,000 miles across roaring seas, and I crashed it into some rocks uh, to find this buried treasure, and now we're leaving with nothing. <laughs> with literally nothing. Literally nothing. Um, Not even a grain of sand <laughs> from this island. I, so yeah, he could actually just be mad at him. Like, this is fucking bullshit that you brought me here. Yeah, because we did have that originally. They could just both be mad at each other. He could say that. And he's like, we need to stay here for the animals. He gets mad at Charles and says that. And he's like, you can't save shit. And he's like, I'm so fucking done with you. Like, Will's like, I'm done with you. We'll leave. We'll go about our ways. Like, fine. I'll bring you back. You think I have a job waiting for me? (laughs) All right, cool. Then, but do they get on the boat? I think they get on the boat and start leaving. And the fish does tell them to turn around. And they are not, they are both going back 
for their own reasons. Not, you know, Will's not going back for Charles. We're going to make it a porpoise. <clears throat> a porpoise with a purpose. No, I'm a porpoise with a purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guys, I'm a porpoise <laughs> with a purpose. <laughs> How much of this are you understanding? Because I can't really. <laughs> I'm trying right. to talk in, talk in like chunks right now. So you're running above water. But that's. This is later because. Bad things need to happen first, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think like um, Will thinks it's bullshit. They're leaving. Um, the, all the animals start getting woozy, and the turtle opens up to the nemesis. Where that they talk? Uh, like again, I feel I'm starting to feel fuzzy because I feel like earlier on we just have like these very crystal clear images of like where we are, where the scene is happening and stuff. And now it's like, uh, you know, I feel like we're starting to, we need to crystallize these a little more, you know, where are, who are the animals that we're talking about? Where are they? And what are they doing there with Idris that, you know, like what, where are we in the movie? He's just saved. So he's just saved an animal. Yeah. And he's now actively like, Oh, the finches, I don't know, need houses. He bird, builds fucking bird houses. But I feel whatever that's a to me like stands. I like I like that idea. But to me, that feels like a montage of like yeah, like it's this, during the movie, yeah. correct? Like that's you during know? the the process of the movie. I think that Idris does have um, a, a, like a set up camp of like like refuge for the animals. He like built, and Charles didn't know that he was building this. No one did, and everyone's kind of in amazement because it's like already a working operation that the audience still hasn't even seen. And they're like, wow. And he's like, look at all this stuff I built for them. He, the turtle shows, okay, they all show up with this sick animal to save. Yeah. To the camp. Yeah. He already has a, an animal hospital. Yes, yeah. And there's already all yeah. of these animals who he's treating. Yeah, perfect. Yep. And he gets all of the animals in. And then they pull up like these big fences <laughs> they have like surrounding the base and they're just literally trapped already. So that's like the camp, the main camp. That's like, I that's guess. That's a great set piece. Yeah. Okay. And also a great like if if I keep referring to Hook, I think have I? But yeah, yeah you, <laughs> like you, all yeah. day I've been talking yeah, about Hook. This day. is definitely I'm not fuck, the dude, first I'm... time you're bringing it up today, at least. <laughs> so in Hook, the final um, the final countdown is like all it's the boat, the main boat, and yeah. and like the yeah. little town yeah. like spilling over thing. Yeah. This is that final good. set piece you know he's got like three boats with you know and and this makeshift thing i love the idea that there's like fence it, like like netting or something that like once he leaves it's just like you know cut a wire and it's like yep. you know like everyone's trapped yep which to me makes it feel like he needs to know earlier about the talking or maybe not. Maybe it's enough. So I was actually thinking that while we were, I yeah. forgot to spill it out. He sees Charles like talking to the animal in his binoculars. He's okay. Like, what are you up to? So he kind of already fucking sees yeah. that something's. We need to the animals. You're basically. having a conversation with this turtle. Like he's. Like I know Charles is crazy, but. Are these animals talking? I'm reading Am I his seeing lips. everything in in my head right now in dialogue? <laughs> I'm just putting random notes in here. That's fine. 
Nemesis uh, fixes some problems. Charles Darwin's famous finches. They're homeless. <laughs> <laughs> so shitty. I like it. <laughs> um. This this goes earlier, <clears throat> doesn't it? Yeah. This goes where he brings. Yep, there you animal go. hospital. Yeah. Like this is probably what they would build in the in the studio. You know what I mean? Like I feel like we got to think about what are those because you know you want to shoot on location in the Galapagos and then you want to shoot like the big stuff on the green. The, yeah. All right. Um, so there's a few things, a few things we still need to go over. So we said this was the final beat, but I think we need to, uh, we need to go through a little bit more of this, this ending here, because we have Charles, the council, we need to cut out. So I would say let's leave it at this and just do one more final beat yep. session of this last finale here. I think that at least answered a lot of questions for the middle ground stuff. I agree. Okay. So I I would say that's final beat part one. I part think, one. I think yep. we need final beat part two, and then we're on to writing. All right. Awesome. Great. Sweet, baby. <laughs>